Big Pac-12 basketball game on Saturday in Eugene, Oregon, where the Ducks host the Arizona Wildcats. Welcome to Wager Talk. I'm Scott Spritzer. He's Brian Leonard. At the end of the table is Sports Cheetah. And boy, both teams do play Thursday night after we do this video. Arizona's an Oregon State guys, while the Ducks are going to host Arizona State. Assuming all goes as planned and there's no key injuries, um, I'm thinking this line's going to be around four and a half or five. Oregon, of course, the home chalk. And by the way, folks, Alonzo Trier is back. He's played a handful of games thus far for Arizona. Obviously a big addition uh, to what they've been doing. But Chita, before the loss to Colorado, I don't think Oregon had lost since November 21st. Was there anything you saw in the Colorado game where maybe a warning sign went up or was it just one of those nights for the Oregon Ducks to you? Uh, for one, they just shot ice cold, and Brooks was kind of rusty, it looked like. I actually watched the first half because he had missed a few games from injury, came back, and I think he had six turnovers, and you know he was like 3 of 11 from the field, something like that. Uh, I, I'm not really too worried as far as if you're a Ducks fan or an Oregon home or whatever. I, I think you'll be okay. And Colorado's it's a tough place to play. You know, It's not like it's a a bad team either so I uh, just have to credit them for getting the win and you know if anything maybe you know Oregon's going to be a little extra prep to play this week out and, and sure. get two big wins. It's hard to pick these teams apart Brian I mean they've both done so well you know Arizona has a loss since December they get Trier back now for three or four games uh, I guess if you're going to split hairs and try to find a weakness you might say the Oregon Ducks are are good excuse me the Arizona Wildcats are good but not great behind the arc. Well, you've got an Arizona team, and I think there was 17 that they'd, Colorado, or they'd won before they could play Colorado. Uh, but you've got an Arizona team who's done very well on the road. They're 5-0 and against the spread on the road. That's what you really want. You want a team that's been able to cover on the road and win on the road when you go into a tough position like this in Oregon. And I made the line 4.4, but I'd, if it does come out 4.5 there, I'd prefer the, the uh, Arizona side just because of what they've done on the road. And as you mentioned, his first game back obviously didn't play very well. Well, they are playing this game on Thursday, which is tomorrow because we're taping on Wednesday, right. as you pointed out. So considering if everybody comes out healthy, it's a totally different ball game than if somebody gets hurt. So keep that in mind when you're watching. Make sure everybody's going to play. But, you know, I think it's a little bit high. Arizona is probably slightly better to me and what they've done on the road. So. And if I said that wrong, by the way, I meant that Oregon Ducks are a little bit shaky. Well, they're good, but they're not great from area code three. Um, and that's about the biggest weakness you can find with these two teams. And Sheena, I was going to ask you about how you adjusted your power ratings you know, for Arizona because outside of Parker Jackson Cartwright, they really mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of guys until Trier came back. They didn't have a lot of guys with the big separation between their assist to turnover ratios. Trier kind of changes things up a little bit now. Yeah, and he's actually, I don't even know if he's played the best he can. I mean, he oh. was so fantastic, you know, in past seasons, and he hasn't been able to play. And the, the great part is he wasn't like he was injured or anything. Right. It's just been the suspension. And now that he's back, you know, he's been practicing in full strength. And it'll be a quick adjustment. I think they still have a ways to go, I think, if he takes over and becomes, you know, just glimpses of what he was just a year ago or two. Uh, I, I made him more two points, though, for, for the actual value in, in, that, in that player. I think it was quite the upgrade. Point guard in general in college basketball is so crucial. Oh, yeah. and just guard play in general. And so to get someone like that added to your team, you just didn't have them before, um, definitely been a big boost for them. I mean, you saw it at UCLA, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch of big wins now for this Arizona team. Definitely one to look out for. What do you like of this game? Let's assume it's four and a half Oregon the favorite. You know what? It's, it's one of those where – I probably I'm not going to bet the spread if it's right there, but you know you could probably get me or sell me on playing you know the plus 180 money line on Arizona. You know it's one of those where I think it's going to be a close game either way. And if you're getting plus 180 on a you know maybe what ends up being a flip late with two minutes left in a tie game, you know I'll take that every time. So it's hard to really convince me on a spread, sure. but you know and, and you know Dylan Brooks and I think it was him that hit the game winner against UCLA at home basically at the buzzer from three. I mean, they've played close games and won them themselves. So I'll ultimately be staying away, I think, unless it, it gets out of hand. It, you know, in the six range, which I think is crazy at this yeah. point, I, I would definitely be taking Arizona, getting essentially two points of value. But I don't expect to be doing Let's that. Let's call Matt Holt and see if we can get a six. Yeah, I can I'll ask take him. Arizona, also. <laughs> yeah. Brian, what do you like here? Yeah, the same thing. If, if all goes correct on Thursday and there's not any upsets going on, yeah, I'll take the four and a half points. If, if it gets six, it'll probably be on my card. I'll give it to my clients. But uh, yeah, at this point, it's a coin flip on who's the better team. And uh, you're, you're getting points, probably a little bit more, half point more than what I think they should. 
So at this point, I'm leaning with Arizona. We're in agreement. I mean, they're a different animal, the Wildcats, with Alonzo Trier back in the lineup, obviously, than they were just a few weeks ago. Take $10 off any package at Wager Talk this week, and that includes those Super Bowl packages, folks. All you got to do is use Super Bowl 51 for your password. For Cheetah, for Brian, I'm Scott. Stick around. Marco and the gang, a lot more to come with both the Super Bowl and college basketball. We are Wager Talk TV.